All right, people, we all have those days when you get home from work, the wife might not be in a good mood, the kids are being loud, and the last thing you wanna do is slave in the kitchen for an hour or two. I have just a cure for that. Today, I'm gonna show you this delicious pasta meal that comes together in 30 minutes or less. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and prep our shrimp. Now, I know I said this is 30 minutes or less, so you might wanna buy the peeled and deveined shrimp already. If you're pressed for time, this is what I had in the freezer, that's what we're using today. So we're gonna go ahead and break these down. We're gonna peel them and devein them, make sure they're nice and clean. These have the tail on, the shell on, all that good stuff. So if you're a pro, you're from the DMV area, you peeled a lot of shrimp, you should be able to execute this in one to two moves. You can peel the whole shrimp just like that, and then I'll show you guys how to devein it. I like to pinch the tail, pull that off, grab the body. That's a three move right there, that's not very impressive, but we got it done. Pinch the tail, pull it, do the same thing with the shell. Just repeat that process, make sure all your shrimp are peeled, then we'll get to the deveining process to make sure they're nice and clean. So once they're peeled, we're gonna go ahead and devein them. For that, you want a nice sharp paring knife. Take the back of the shrimp with the blade of your knife and just cut down the back there, depending on how, you know, how big the vein is. You may be able to see it right out the gate like this here. Sometimes they're a little bit more hidden and you gotta do a little bit more work, but we'll just go ahead and remove the vein. Then we're gonna rinse them under some cold water. Just make sure we get them nice and clean all the way through. The bottom side, that's not actually uh, the intestinal tract. Some people have devein both sides. Not quite sure why. Um, the bottom side is not the intestinal tract. No real sanitary reason to devein that. But if you wanna do it, whatever floats your boat. But again, it's one of those days we gotta make this real quick and uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So go ahead and devein these, get them nice and clean and then we'll get to the rest of our prep. All right, so once the shrimp are squeaky clean, we're gonna go ahead and add them to a bowl with some paper towels. You wanna get them nice and dry, otherwise they kinda get waterlogged a little bit and they don't really get that nice vibrant color when you go to cook them. They can be a little bit more soggy that way too. So I like to dry them before we season and definitely before you cook. So let's get in there with some paper towels, get them as dry as you can. We'll hit them with a little oil and then season them up. All right, now that they're dry, we're gonna hit them with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and then we're going in with a blend of all-purpose seasoning and my lemon bay. For those of you at home that don't have my products, no big deal. Use whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is, and maybe some Old Bay or Tony's Creole seasoning. Whatever you like on seafood will be just fine. This is low sodium, so I'm gonna go a little bit heavy with that. And then a nice light dusting of the lemon bay is gonna add some beautiful citrus notes in there, some great color. Tiny bit of spice, not much. There we have it, folks. We got some seasoned shrimp. We're gonna set that aside, chop up our sausage and all our veggies, and make us a pasta. Now, when it comes to the sausage, you can use whatever you like. This is beef sausage, it's smoked kielbasa, basically. But you can use something like an andouille sausage if you're going the Cajun route, or really whatever you got in the fridge. That's the beautiful thing about this recipe. Any protein that you have in the fridge or the freezer, perfect for this right here. Go ahead and save yourself a couple dollars. You don't have to order DoorDash or Uber Eats. You don't have to go to the grocery store. Just use what you got on hand. If you got shrimp, great. If you got chicken, sausage, whatever. Any protein works great for this pasta dish. So we're just gonna go ahead and make little circles out of the sausage. We're using bow tie pasta today, so I'm trying to have everything nice bite-sized pieces that'll fit on the fork nicely. Now, one of the things that, in my opinion, speed up the process when it comes to prepping dinner is getting all your prep work done and out of the way. In the kitchen, they call that mise en place, which basically means everything in its place. So go ahead and get all of your prep work done, organize it on a tray like this, and then when it's time to cook, you just flow right through it. Now, I know I said this is 30 minutes or less, but for my overachievers out there, we're gonna throw a little garlic bread recipe in here as well. If you got the kiddos at home, they always love garlic bread. All you need is a French loaf like this one right here, and a serrated blade, a stick of melted butter, some garlic, parsley, and seasoning. And it don't take long to get toasty. So we're gonna go ahead and flatten it out. That's how I like to do mine. A little bit even, more even when it's time to cut it. We're only gonna make one today though, so half a loaf, I should say. So we'll set that aside for a second. We got a stick of melted butter right here. To that, I'm gonna add a pinch of parsley, mostly for color, a little freshness. And then a good tablespoon and a half of garlic paste or 
garlic, uh, roasted garlic, fresh garlic, minced garlic, whatever garlic you got laying around. And you're gonna make sure you season that. So after you get the garlic in there, a little seasoning, and then a little grated Parmesan cheese, because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. We're gonna mix that in, hit the top with a little bit more grated Parm. Grab me a spoon. Give that a little mix. Make sure the garlic is well combined, the cheese is well combined. All that butter is properly melted. The seasonings evenly distributed. And that's gonna take that spoon and slather that right on our bread. Make sure you get all the edges. Don't be shy with the good stuff. If you're really in the time crunch, you can throw that Texas toast in the oven like we used to do back in the day. I'm not gonna judge you for that. But if you wanna take it the extra mile, this right here is a game changer. If you're making the full loaf, just double the recipe. As you can see, this is the perfect amount for half of a loaf. Double it up if you're uh, making the full thing. Touch more grated parm right on the top. And into the oven at 400 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes or until it's crispy all the way through. Cooking times will vary depending on your loaf of bread, how thick the bread is that you're cooking. There you go. Into the oven she goes. All right, next up, we're gonna warm our skillet over medium heat, add about a tablespoon or so of oil, and then we're gonna add in that beef sausage. Again, guys, use whatever you like. Turkey's fine. You use some better than whatever Beyond Meat stuff if you're vegan. Probably don't watch this channel much, but if you do, thanks for tuning in. Get that on in there. Let the fat start rendering. Let it get nice and golden brown and crispy. Then we're gonna use our slotted spoon to remove that. Cook the shrimp right in that beef fat. Then remove the shrimp, add the veggies, make our sauce, add the protein back in, add the pasta, and you're done. Next up, you wanna always salt your pasta water and then cook the pasta per package instructions. Don't be shy with the salt. This is your best opportunity to season your pasta. All right, so once the beef has been removed, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of butter because shrimp and butter is a beautiful thing. Butter makes everything better. We're gonna go ahead and get that in there, get the process of it melting. Then we're gonna add in our jumbo shrimp and get them cooking. All the flavor in the same skillet, guys. That's the name of the game here. Easy cleanup. Not a lot of dirty dishes. Then we'll cook the shrimp until it's, you know, all the way cooked. Remove that. Make our sauce. Add everything back. And plate this up. So once we got the shrimp right where we want it, we're going to go ahead and flip it over. Show that other side the same love and attention. This is going to be good, guys. I promise you that. Even if it takes you a couple minutes longer than 30, it's gonna be time well spent, that's for sure. You wanna cook your shrimp so they hit 145 degrees internal temperature, that's when they're safe to eat. So once we have the smoked sausage and the shrimp removed, we're going in with that one diced onion. We're gonna allow that to start to saute. We're gonna add in our shrimp for health and a little color. Once the onion cooks down a little bit, we're gonna add in our spinach for health and a little color, make the dish look nice and pretty. Just saute down that onion. And then we're going in with our spinach. Might look like a lot, but it'll cook down quite a bit. Shrinkage is real, especially in the winter time. All right, so next up, I'm going in with a secret ingredient, a little flavor enhancer, a little roasted garlic better than bouillon, just a teaspoon. This has quite a bit of sodium, so go a little bit lighter on the salt when it comes to the rest of your sauce. That's gonna elevate the flavor tremendously. Beautiful garlic flavor in there. Then we're going in with about two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. 
Might as well use the rest of this tube. I'm gonna give that a little mix, turn the heat down just a touch. Pinch of red pepper flakes for some heat. And then we're gonna deglaze with about a quarter cup or a third cup of dry white wine. Next up, we're going in with the juice of half of a lemon, just to brighten everything up, kind of cut through some of the heavy cream and the butter that we're using here. Speaking of heavy cream, we're going in with about two cups of that. Give it a mix, season the taste, hit it with a little Parmesan cheese. And that, my friends, is your pasta sauce for the evening. All right, so at this point, we're gonna reduce the heat down to low. Just allow the sauce to reduce a little bit, kind of come together. And then we're going in with all of our protein that we cooked and any accumulated juices because no flavor left behind. We got shrimp, we got sausage. We're gonna mix that together. Give that a minute or two. And then we'll add in the bow tie pasta, toss all that together. Plate it up with some fresh parm, a little parsley, and that garlic bread. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. The only thing left to do is cut up this garlic bread and dig in for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. That's what you want to hear right there. If you're having a rough day, the garlic bread is the cure for what troubles you. Double sausage is crazy. We're gonna shrimp are enormous as well. It's gonna be a big bite, folks. There we go. Got a good protein to carb ratio right there. That's diet approved. Mmm. You guys gotta try this. <laughs> oh man. Like the best joint. Mm.